All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. Now, on Thursday, we all decided that we were gonna make a beautiful ramen this week. And to make things even better, earlier in the week, I'd actually made a chicken and smoked rib stock. So we thought, instead of making ramen, let's make a beautiful barbecue rib udon noodle soup. This is just gonna be packed full of lovely Asian flavors, smokiness from the ribs. We're also gonna make some pickled daikon, a super quick, awesome dish for leftover ribs. So come on guys, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, let's make the pickled daikon. So I need one cup of rice wine vinegar, half a cup of sugar, a pinch of salt. Now let's mix that all together. Okay, let's pop that aside and we're gonna peel the daikon. And guys, daikon is basically like a big uh, Asian radish. And if you can't find it in your supermarket, just use radishes instead. Now let's cut that into batons. And we wanna get that into that mixture. Mix that all together. We're gonna pop the lid on and stick that back in the fridge. So all that lovely pickling juice can actually work and soften up that radish. Right, let's get a pan on a nice high heat. I've got some shiitake mushrooms here, which I'm just gonna remove the stalk, and I'm just gonna finely slice them up. Now let's add a good splash of oil. Let's get the shiitake mushrooms in, and what I wanna do is just fry them very quickly until they get lovely golden and brown. So I've got here the chicken and the, uh, the, the smoked rib stock. Now guys, I did actually make a video about it, but it was terrible. It Oh my word, look at that. Yes, you smart cookies, we are making stock. It was a terrible video. Um, so what's actually in here, all I had was one leftover ribs and I didn't want to waste the bones because bones, flavor, awesome. So I just chopped them up. I had a chicken carcass, some carrot, some garlic. In they went, uh, some water. I didn't have any of the stock vegetables, um, but hey, that's the way you've got to roll with these things, guys. You know, you just, put them in and for the ribs, all I've done is put some salt, pepper, garlic powder on there, smoke them over applewood. But if you've got any leftover ribs, get them in the pot with some water, away we go. Okay, those mushrooms look fantastic. So let's pour in one of these. Yep, in fact, I think we'll just use one of these. So I'll pop the other one back in the fridge. Now let's bring that up to the boil. Okay, now that's boiling, we're gonna add in our udon noodles. And guys, the reason why I've gone for udon noodles rather than ramen noodles is because, um, you know, I just thought like with barbecue, that kind of like stickiness and that lovely barbecue flavor, udon noodles, I think, uh, we're uh, gonna work a little bit better. So anyway, we've got those, and we're gonna cook them for about, you know, two or three minutes until they've softened up. So come on, let's have a little taste. Mmm, really good. Lots of lovely chicken flavor coming through. We've got a nice bit of smokiness uh, from those ribs. That is gonna be brilliant. And boom, umami from our shiitake. So that's getting into a really lovely meaty uh, flavor. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna make it into this kind of Asian barbecue style. So I've got this. Um, so this is like a Japanese barbecue sauce. It's got garlic in there, it's got some sesame oil in there, and sesame seeds. So it's kind of like, um, it, it's a little teriyaki-ish, um, but certainly with more barbecue flavor. Absolutely delicious. And if you want to buy it, I'll, uh, I'll stick a link below to Amazon where you can go and get it. So I don't know how much of this we need to put in. So all we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of time, give it a taste, and, um, and then we'll see when it's ready. So come on, let's get some in. Okay, so let's start off with one, two, three, four tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Give that, give that a mix around. You know what? That is perfect. Four. 
four is the magic number. That's amazing, guys. Honestly, because what you're trying to get, you're trying to still get the flavor of the, uh, of the chicken stock uh, in there. Um, you just don't want it to be completely overpowering. You know, you don't want to taste it exclusively of this, but that is just working. Mmm. Okay. Um, so there you go. First time round. We've got that. Okay, but there you go. Uh, guys, that's all cooking is. You know, I've, I've never made this before. I'm kind of winging it. You give it a little taste. Does it taste good? Does it taste good to you? which is the most important thing. Um, and then, uh, you know, if it doesn't, you can tweak around with it. But as far as I'm concerned, that is perfect. Let's get some veg in here as well. I've got a baby bok choy here. Let's cut that into quarters. Let's get that in with the soup. I'm gonna bring that up to the boil, knock that off the heat, and we're just gonna pop that aside for a couple of minutes whilst we reheat the ribs. Now I'm feeling really lucky that I've got some leftover ribs, which is just gonna make this dish all come together. So let's chop them up. And this little bit at the end, just roughly chop that and we'll throw that in with the soup. Now let's get them into a hot pan. We're gonna pour over some more of that Japanese barbecue sauce. Now let's just cover that really loosely with a, with a foil lid. And what we want to do, guys, is just bring that back up to temperature so we can reheat that nice and gently, but also it's going to get beautifully coated in that lovely barbecue sauce. So that should take two or three minutes. Okay, they look absolutely amazing, so let's plate up. Come on guys, look at that. That looks absolute beautiful. Oh, smells amazing. So, oh my God. Mm. So I just add a little bit there with a pickled daikon. So um, we've got a little bit of um, vinegar running into there, which just gives it a lovely kind of tartness to it. Um, and then over here, we've got a bit more barbecue-y uh, sauce coming in over there from the barbecue ribs. Mm. And the best thing about it, guys, the noodles have thickened it up. You know, this starch from the noodles thickened it up. So it's like a beautiful, it's almost like a barbecue gravy. So, um, look, you know, I know this. This is going to be a bit of a mess. It's not going to end particularly well. So let's, <laughs> let's give it a try. Come on. Mm. 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 Oh, absolutely <laughs> delicious. Mm. Pickle diagon, all good. Greens. Tastes like greens. But, mm. these noodles. Ta-da! Amazing. Not ramen. Barbecue udon noodles. I'm really, really, really happy with this, guys. I hope you like it. Bit spontaneous. Love the fact that we all came together on Thursday to decide to make a ramen-esque dish. We will do a proper ramen uh, some other time, but, oh, you know, we can't let good things like that smoked rib stock go to waste. So, speaking of which, we should probably try a little bit of rib. Mmm, my God. Mmm. Mmm. Give us a thumbs up, get in the comments below, tell me what you think, and uh, I will enjoy the rest of this. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Whoa, hang on, mate. If you enjoyed this video, I've got three options for you. Check out the Kitchen Daddy website over here. Subscribe to our YouTube channel right here and then check out another Kitchen Daddy video 
right by here. But why not be a legend and do all three?